Is is the plot hole that in Metal Gear that we can't figure out the Iraq War? Is this it? Is this the thread that undoes Metal Gear? Because that's <laughs> stupid. Fucking maybe. I'm done thinking about this. I don't know. I don't disagree with you on a three being the best. I just haven't like considered which Metal Gear I think is the best. Haha, <laughs> it's Revengeance, haha. <laughs> it is um, Revengeance, you're right. Never I guess. No, well, no, because Revengeance isn't a Metal Gear game. It, it is not a Metal Gear game, but it's the best Metal Gear game. Yeah. Um, like... Because you only get a sword in one other Metal Gear game. Two? Yeah. I wish five was done. <laughs> like... I don't know, Skullface was cool. Skullface was cool. I... I like the idea of a language spread virus. Like, on one hand, Skullface was cool. On the other hand, Skullface is easily the shittiest, most horrible villain in any fucking Metal Gear game. So Hot I feel Coleman. weird pointing at him and being like, haha, funny. Cause like... Hot Coleman. No! I don't- okay, I don't mean worst as in, like, bad villain. I mean, Skullface is a terrible person that does oh. easily the most morally reprehensible acts in the series. Hold on, let me think about that. The memes. Show me. You ever listen to the tapes from Ground Zeroes? About what goes on to Chico and Paz? So, yes. Like, I, I think you are weighting Skullface higher because you understand it better, not because he's actually done worse things. Uh, who's in competition, then? That's what I'm trying to remember. Like, give me a second. There's a lot of people to sift through here. Well, let's go fucking sequentially. Nothing in one is anything. Because all those ones are fucking comic book shit. They're all comic books. In two... Nothing. Didn't... Fat Man didn't invent... Nukes, did he? No, he just built them. He didn't invent them, but he did build one in H10. <laughs> yes. Fucking. He didn't use it. No, which he's, is points he's in his made. favor. Yeah. He just built one. Yeah. He did kill his soul. Vamp? Is just weird. Uh, Vamp did kill Otacon's sister. Well, that's one person. Skullface yeah. ki killed a lot more than one person. Yeah. Like, Vamp. Vamp is currently the worst, I think. Vamp is not... He's not confirmed Vlad the Impaler, right? Like, that's just a thing. <laughs> no, because he's not actually a vampire. It's just fucking nanomachines. <laughs> he's not actually a vampire. <laughs> no, shut up. The nanomachines let him walk on water and pin your shadow to the floor. <laughs> it is l literally explicitly stated that he's not actually a vampire and there's just nanomachines. <laughs> <laughs> we doing this? Anyway, three. <laughs> okay, so three. Now, hold on. Volgan did fire a nuke. Volgan did fire a nuke, but I don't think he fired it at people. He shot it at that base. That I think was... There were people there. Okay, well... So <laughs> he Volgan... did nuke a lot of people. Volgan did nuke a lot of people. Volgan did also, on an interpersonal level, punch Eva in the face. No, no, stomach. Also slapped her across the face, I think. Volgan just bad to women. Volgan is a misogynist. Volgan is a misogynist that nuked a lot of people. That blows. Volgan's bad. Alright, hold on. Huey. <sighs> okay. Remember what he did to, um... Strange Love, yeah. Yeah. I do think that Skullface is still worse. I think that Huey is an antagonist. <laughs> Okay. Fuck uh, you. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, what what do you got? What do you got from four? What do you got? Hal's stepmom? Otacon's stepmom? What could she have done, though? <laughs> Was he a minor? He did Huh, I forgot about that.
<sighs> Fuck. Okay, so tier list goes. <laughs> Full face. Otacon step. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Vulcan! <laughs> <laughs> and then oh. Huey! <laughs> I, actually, I think Huey ranks above Vulcan. Because I would say, just by law of size, he killed roughly the same as, if not more people than Vulcan, who thought he was their friend. That's okay, evil. You're saying that uh, fucking Huey, via the... Paris Huey is responsible for the massacre in yes. Mother Base. You think that that was more people dead than a nuke? Well... If you look at the base that they shot it at, that was like three buildings. That's fair. I mean, but it doesn't go away. Like, that area is also tainted, and if anyone's downwind... You're right. You're right. I am just looking at the numbers of people killed. Right. I think it is comparable, you're right. I, I don't remember the base he shot it at too well, because it's been a while since, for, uh, since MGS3 for me. Right. That's fair. And maybe I'm getting it wrong. We're just going off mm. memories here. I think once we start looking stuff up, that's no fun. Man, fuck Huey. I forgot that Huey has, like... A... a Trauma? No. I forgot that Huey has, like, a noteworthy body count in the, like, numbers. <laughs> yes, he does! I forgot that he's, like, on the fucking board. That's why they, that's why they put him on that boat. They put him on that boat because of fucking Strangelove. That was the... That and all the people, all the people he killed. killed. Hey, remember the part where Big Boss reaches into some random dude's urn and wipes it all over his yeah. face? It's Huey's fault. <laughs> and then he was like, hold on, don't throw these in the ocean. Make them into diamonds and we'll carry... Also, that's really cool. It's also the same gimmick as the bad guys from Bad Company 2. <laughs> they all carry gold bars with them. That are made of... Guys? Well... It's Nazi gold. Okay. I think it's the equivalent of carrying ashes into battle, but much easier. No, they're diamonds I... now. Yeah, but... They have market value. They're also... <laughs> anyway. Let's move on to four. Four, yeah. Uh, um... I don't even... Re... Otacon? Not Otacon. <laughs> Ocelot. That was silly. Oh, names, you know. Ocelot's not even, like... He turned people's guns off. Bad. Art, debatably, a... he's the good guy. Yeah, that's a good thing. But net worth, people he shot versus people he stopped getting shot, massively in his favor. That, yeah, no, he... His body count is negative. Uh... Like... Peace Walker. Peace Walker. We got, we got Hawkeye. Cold Men. We got Paz? He w Hot Coldman wanted to nuke a lot of people, but he didn't. I think you could put Hot Cold... Okay. We haven't nailed down what we're ranking. Just evil? Evilness. Okay. I think you can put Hot Coldman as comparable to Volgan, because Volgan wanted power. Hot Coldman wanted a fucking... Power! Hot Coldman wanted to fucking nuke people. <laughs> Hot Coldman wanted to nuke a lot of people so he can initiate a stronger hold of nuclear deterrence, which is kind of the means to an end argument. Right. <laughs> <Up there. laughs> like, sure, you managed to stop people getting nuked, but you also made people get nuked. So, like, did you really? <laughs> kind of yeah. net zero here. Like, he's, he's definitely evil. He did launch nukes. He did right. do that. They just got God, didn't they? Yeah. He did, he did make his nuke robots run on the consciousness of a dead woman he was kind of fetishy about. I think you could argue that he didn't do that. Huey did that. Huey did that. Fuck Huey. So that, that bumps Huey up. 
<laughs> a little bit. Hang on. Actually, I think that was Strangelove's thing. What? I think Strange oh! I think you're right! Yeah, I think Strangelove was the AI one, and also Strangelove had that thing for boss. Well, who didn't have a thing for boss? Hey, we gotta put Big Boss on here somewhere. Oh, he is a villain in Metal Gear. He is a villain in general. He is a bad person. Yeah. I mean, I guess. He does bad things. He does bad things. It's kind of a means to an end thing. I mean, think of your other protagonists. Sure what bad things do Solid Snake, Raiden, and Solid Snake again do? Yeah. Work for America. I mean, yeah, but so does fucking Big Boss until he doesn't. <laughs> then we, then we get to five. Then we get to five. Skullface. Skullface. Yeah, uh, well, no. Really. Vulcan again, sort of. No, but, that's Psycho Mantis's fault. Yeah, Psycho Mantis, I guess. Liquid? Not really. Not even. Cause we counted Psycho Mantis in one. Yeah. And Psycho Mantis and he, we did called him a clown. One. Yeah. He was, like, in 5, he was, like, a confused kid. Like, yeah, I don't think we can attribute that to actual evil or malice. I think Liquid... I feel like Liquid was way more evil in 5 than he was How in 1. How did we forget about Liquid? Because he didn't do anything. What do you... You're, I guess you're right. Like, all, all he was Liquid... He's just being British. Liquid did... <laughs> Which, I mean... He's on oh, the list. Oh, are you putting him up there now? Oh, yeah, well, come on. Okay. He's on the list. Thank you for reminding me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, he just wanted... He didn't even want, like, a million dollars or anything. He just wanted the remains of Big Boss. That's, I think I said this before. That's definitely not correct. <laughs> he did want a million dollars. Maybe a he, billion. He explicitly wanted a lot of money. Right. And also the remains of Big Boss. Yeah, I definitely... Oops. Or anything. He just wanted the remains of Big Boss. That's, like... Yeah, we, could also, we could also do a trick... Normal where you show this editing screen and you talking about how <laughs> I, I think I mentioned this before, that is definitely wrong. <laughs> he did explicitly want a lot of money. <laughs> like, we could do that, and I think it would be funny. You know what would be even funnier? What's that? We kept this bit in two. <laughs> We're too deep! We're in too deep! <laughs> Pull out! Get us out! Get me out of here! Anyway, back to the video. I feel like Liquid was way more evil in 5. And he was only actually also in 1. Yeah. Because in 2, that's just Ocelot doing... Fucking doing whatever Ocelot shit. Doing. Okay. Alright. So... Revengeance. Revengeance. Okay. Revengeance. I don't... Like... Okay. Who's higher? Sundown or Armstrong? <laughs> Armstrong. But Sundowner loves it! Just he like the good old days it. after 9-11. He loves it, but Armstrong pitched it. That's true. Armstrong saw this dude and was like, perfect. <laughs> Is Raiden on this list for Revengeance? Is Raiden a villain? Ra I don't think so. Raiden killed a lot of people, but like, no one, he, no one that didn't throw themselves at him willingly. Yeah. I mean, fine, willingly, you know. Some dudes just needed money to pay for their. Well, they were hopped up money. on nano machines, but they still took the job. I mean, yeah. they're still part of the system. Mm -hmm. Hey, fuck it, Oppo. Like the shitty cops were kind Very of just different. in that one section where Sam's like, haha. Yeah, it's like it's like a level where it's cops. Yeah. And then it's robots and robots that moo. And then robots that suplex you. Fuck those guys. Fuck robots those that guys. moo that people were like, yeah, that's a gecko. If I've ever seen one. <laughs> Hello? Call him the fucking oxen. <laughs> anyway. So, top of the list Otacon's mom. <laughs> Stepmom. Stepmom. Yeah, Strange Love's not. Well, no, Strange. Otacon's mom is on this list. Both of Otacon's moms are on this list. What did Otacon's mom do? I thought she just died. That's strange, love. Oh, fuck! I forgot about that. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, that's embarrassing. 
So, Jesus, that bumps Huey up higher. That Does was his it? wife. Wife? Yeah, yeah. Not wife. Yeah, not wife. You know, fucking girl, friend, lady. He had a kid with her. Yeah, gal. What he boinks? Which really surprised me. There's no way he fucks. She's not a lesbian. Yeah. I no in her fucking death tape. She's like, hey, yeah, that baby is yours and mine, Joy. She's still a lesbian. She just that's what I'm saying. Got it? Yeah. Do you think she had to wear a fucking spy mask with Joy's face on it? You need to say a sentence with words. <laughs> Do you think she had Huey wear a fucking boss mask? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think she had him crank it into a tube and then she got a fucking turkey yeah! baster. Why him though? He's the only dude that would crank it into a tube. <laughs> he is the only dude that would... Boss, I have good news! <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> oh, fuck. Both of Huey's moms are on there. Both of Huey's moms are on there. No, Hal. Both of Hal's moms are on there. Not Huey. Fuck yes. Huey. Hal's fine. Both of Otacon's moms are on there. Huey's on there. Volgan's Fuck on there. Fuck them for naming their kid Hal. Yeah, can you fucking, fucking imagine Huey being an Hal? AI scientist and naming your kid after the antagonist from fucking 2001 The Space Odyssey? Like, what do you mean? Fucking idiot. What's Jesus. wrong with you? You want your kid to be fucking cursed. Hold on. Volgan. Volgan. Not Volgan. V Volgan uh, Skullface. Um, what's his name? Describe. The, the, uh, commander dude. Oh, Zero. Not Zero. Zero is also pretty bad. Zero. Um. The, yeah, no, uh, you're right. What did Zero Zero is pretty do? bad. Uh, the Philosopher's Legacy. <laughs> he didn't do that. That was just around. But, like, he just he got used it. it for things. He, You know what? Zero did establish the Patriots. Which... Is that had a lot of good. lasting consequences. Yeah. So that say safely. Yeah. Okay. So Zero's Ooh. on there. Is the Kodak team from MGS3 on there? Because they were all part of that. He was too. on the Kodak team from MGS2. No, I. Oh, oh, Campbell. I'm talking. You're right. Yeah, Campbell. Fuck, oh, fuck for Campbell. For doing that fuck shit to Ryden. Oh my god, fuck Campbell. Also doing that fuck shit to Snake. Having replayed MGS1 recently, Snake didn't know what was going on going in there. No. Campbell knew everything. I'm still thinking about how fucked up it is what he did to Ryden. Yeah. Ryden deserved better. Man, fuck Campbell. Man, fuck Can't believe we forgot about fucking Zero. <laughs> God like, damn it. Ostensibly the antagonist of the series. <laughs> <laughs> Zero is a problem in more games than he is not. Uh. I guess we can put Solidus on there. I fucking guess. What do you even do? I don't know, he was just a weird president. He had a weird suit lying around. He wasn't even wrong, either. He wasn't entirely wrong. He did crash a Metal Gear into the Twin Towers, which, you know... Honestly? Maybe that's not great. It was kind of cool, though. It was kind of Well, if there was a cutscene <laughs> where you could see what happened, it would have been pretty cool. I don't know. If All I'm saying is... I don't want to say this, actually. Never mind. You get this one loud and clear on the set? You got the mics on? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'll pass. What's up? No, go ahead. I don't want to talk about how cool 9-11 would have been <laughs> if they would have been Metal Gears. <laughs> I'm turning into Sundowner, actually. That's why Sundowner's like that! <gasps> God, 9-11 actually happened with Metal Gears! Yeah. Oh my god, I guess canonically in that universe, yeah. I always thought he was talking about normal 
Uh, He's talking the, about the events of MGS2! Did the fucking War on Terror happen in Metal Gear? It had to have. But, like... That was... How do you blame that on... Like, brown Metal people? Gear. Yeah, like... When it was two white dudes with swords. Three swords and two white dudes. <laughs> like... Cause... How am I just now putting this together? It's not just you if it's any consolation. <laughs> like... Cause in MGS4, the Middle East is still war-torn. Is the idea that it's just torn by different wars? That happened fucking coincidentally? <laughs> Is is the plot hole that in Metal Gear that we can't figure out the Iraq War? Is this it? Is this the thread that undoes Metal Gear? Because that's <laughs> stupid. Fucking maybe. I'm done thinking about this. I'm gonna watch Letter Kenny. I didn't think I was gonna walk away from this conversation understanding Sundowner a little bit better, of all things. I didn't think I was gonna walk away from this conversation understanding how 9-11 affected... Revengeance. <laughs> More. Damn it! Of course they talk about the end of MGS2 in Revengeance! The fucking Ryan it's game. Ryan! Fuck. Like, bleh. Okay, we should be clear. A lot of people don't know that MGS2 ends in 9-11. Because they had to cut the cutscene because it was fucking 9-11. Oh, you're right! Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. You and I know that because we're fucking turbo dweebs. And we're aware that they had to change it because this game was releasing months after 9-11 and was developed months before. But they had to take it out, because they were like, Oh no. MGS2 is unfollow upable Shame they decided to follow it up. They followed it up with Revengeance. You're right. We, we You're have right. to look that in the face now. So it's Skull- Who's second place? Is it Vulgan? I thought we agreed it was... <laughs> Odd God <God's> Stepmom. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been recording this? Yes. <laughs> Second place is definitely either Otacon's dad or Otacon's stepmom. Or Vulcan. Or Otacon's mom. Or Otacon's mom. What did Strange Love do? So You're right. She was just a little no, weird. No, I don't no, think no, she no, 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 no. She put she... together a bunch of Metal Gears. And also tortured Actually. Snake. And did that. She made me mash really hard in the ninth grade, and my hand hurt a little bit. A fictional character made me, a real person, hurt mm -hmm. physically. I think that's pretty strong. I think you can put Armstrong up there too, then, because I fought Armstrong in a lot of fucking difficulties. That guy fucking beat the shit out of me. So, she made a bunch of Metal Gears, which I had honestly forgotten about. Um, she did torture Snake. Or boss, who at that point was still Snake, actually, because he hadn't come to terms yeah, yeah. with Anyway. Um, uh, people called... People were calling him Vic Boss at, like, the beginning of yeah. the game. Like, at that point, he's... And, and officially, he officially, did receive yeah. that title. Um, from the U.S. government, who he then stopped... Fuck, <laughs> fucking Metal Gear. She also developed the... Uh, she did put Big Boss's mom in a robot pod. Effectively. In her brain. Effectively? At least. But like. Is that a crime? Was that a. Is that a bad ghost? thing to do? You said, was that a ghost? Yeah. No, it wasn't a ghost. Well, because the pod knew more than it should have, right? Yeah, it's like, just that was the thing? That's just how Metal Gear goes. I guess. But the butterfly. I mean, yeah, but the that could have just been fuck. 
MGS5. Fucking pause. Like, you know? I guess. If that could happen, then fucking whatever. Fucking Pacifica Ocean. Fucking Pacific Pacifica Ocean. I am Pacifica Ocean. I love Paz's accent. Yeah. Oh, strange Hold on. Huh? What was that dude's name that was with Paz? Chica. No. No? The red hand guy. That's hot. No. That's Zadornov. Z. Fucking doorknob. That was a really vivid memory. <laughs> did Zadornov get up to shit? Not I, really. I don't think he really who did. Who did he anything. work for? Who did Paz work for? KGB. Philosopher? The KGB. Do the KGB rank on the list? <laughs> no, because they're not a person. America ranks over the KGB on this list, if that's the case. Because yeah, America right. was Campbell and Zero. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And also, uh, oh, also what about Little good. Gray for making me look at him? <laughs> What's wrong with Little Gray? I gotta look at him. He's a really, he's a funny monkey. He's a very funny monkey. He eat a Pepsi. <laughs> he eat a Pepsi. No, Hal. Both of Hal's moms are on there. Not Huey. Fuck yes. Huey. Hal's fine. I guess Huey's dad could be on here for the Manhattan Project, come to think of it. <laughs> Shit. I'm joking, hold up. Fuck. I didn't- we- We gotta go back. <laughs> we have to go back! 